Grave hunting can be fun and exciting. However, if it leads to the emergency room, it no longer becomes fun. Ah, uh, yes. By the looks of my watch, it's officially grave time. Today, I'm in Georgetown, California at the Georgetown Pioneer Cemetery looking for the grave of Major League Baseball player Ferris Fain. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Matter of fact, I almost gave up. And I probably should have. Apparently, his grave was located in Section 1, Row 5, Plot 30, according to what someone put on findagrave.com. And I tried looking all over that cemetery. I drove around it five times, walked around on foot, and I couldn't find it. And to be honest with you, there's no markers there. There's nothing that indicates what section you're at in the cemetery. I eventually took a break from grave hunting, walked across the street to the pizza parlor, got myself a small pizza and some water, had my lunch, thought about it. Do I want to continue on doing this? Yes, I do. So I went back to the cemetery, drove around it one more time, and eventually parked my car, got out, and walked even some more. As I got out of my truck, I felt this knot in my left thigh. And when I looked, I noticed I had a spider bite. How do I know it was a spider bite? Because when a spider bites you, it leaves a red ring around the bite. So after that, I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm going to keep looking for this guy's grave. Well, I was about ready to give up when all of a sudden an older gentleman smoking a cigar on a riding lawnmower came into the cemetery. I had asked him if he knew who Ferris Fane was and where he was buried. He said yes and took me to his grave. And that made everything so much better. Well, anyways, Ferris Fane was a first baseman, a left-hand hitter, and he played for the Philadelphia Athletics from 1947 to 1952. And then for the Chicago White Sox from 1953 to 1954. Then in 1955, he played for the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. He was a five-time All-Star three years from 1950 to 1952 with the Philadelphia Athletics and for two years 1953 to 1954 with the Chicago White Sox. He's also inducted into the Philadelphia Baseball Hall of Fame. Well, folks, 24 hours after my trip to Georgetown, California, to visit the grave of Ferris Fain, I ended up finding myself at the hospital. Went to urgent care to find out what was going on with my left thigh, because it swelled up, it was red and really warm. I eventually was admitted to the emergency room, where I stayed for a complete 24 hours of supervision to make sure that I get the swelling out of my thigh. I ended up having cellulitis and was put on antibiotics and as I'm making this video I am still having some minor issues but in due time everything will be better and I will be back out there grave hunting, grave exploring and bringing you some more great grave time videos because hey it's my hobby I love it I'm gonna keep doing it stupid spiders aren't gonna stop me Anywho, I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about my videos. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Grave Time. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bye.